Hello, my name is Derek Payne. I'm your instructor for the speech class this summer. Um, I told you I would circle back and give you some information um, relating to use of AI submitted assignments. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to accept it. If you decide that you have to use AI as a crutch in order to complete work in this entry level class, then you probably are in the wrong place. Um, it's not going to work. AI simulated work. You, you go to an AI chat program, you type in some simple things about the assignment, it gives you an essay. You put your name on it, you turn it in. That's not going to fire for me. Um, I absolutely need you to understand all the nuances of that. And I'm going to send you some video links that I put up on um, YouTube a couple of years ago in reference to plagiarism, so that you have a clear understanding of what plagiarism is. Um, without question, AI-generated work would fall into the category of plagiarism. If you cannot put your name on something that you did not write yourself, that did not come out of your brain and intellectual capabilities, that allows me to accurately measure how much you've learned the material that I've offered you, then maybe this isn't the time and place to attack the course. Um, be comfortable putting your name on something because you wrote it. And even if it's it's an effort that doesn't work, then we know exactly how to compare and fix that in the teaching side. But if you give me something that somebody else wrote and put your name on top of it, I don't know if you've learned a thing from me. And my job is measuring how much you've learned from me, not how well you use a chat GPT program. I didn't think I would ever need to clarify this. I thought that certainly printing out something that you did not write, putting your name on it and submitting it is something that in the history of academia until last year, we never really dealt with. Obviously, that's wrong. The, the idea that it's wrong and the reasons why it's wrong have not changed. Um, so I didn't think I would need to clarify it, but I will clarify it for you. An example, if a teacher has a basket on their desk, and that's the basket that they want you to put your completed assignments in. And you take into somebody else's assignment out, scratch their name off, put your name on it, and put it back in the box. Clearly, you know that you've done something wrong. Clearly, that that's not something that's negotiable. And can you imagine how you would feel if you turned in an assignment, looked up, and you got a zero on it because somebody else took your hard work, scratched your name off, and put their name on and put it back in? They get credit for your work and you don't. That's problematic on a good day. Um, but I don't think anybody would be cool or happy with that. AI submitted assignments are not acceptable in my class. And I hope they're not acceptable in general, but everybody is allowed to do the work that they want to do and submit it in different classes for me, for me, for Derek Payne. Um, I am not going to accept AI-generated work. Hopefully, you know that all work that you generated goes through Brightspace and everything goes through Brightspace, goes through turning in. So I know as soon as you turn it in that there's questionable content. Um, I also have three completely separate programs that I use. OK, this seems kind of strange. And so I have three different programs that I use. Um, typically, if a student this spring has decided to use AI to generate something, I can email them back within moments. This isn't going to work. You have a zero on the assignment. Um, and, and I don't waste a lot of time with that. On my personal laptop, I've installed these programs because I do a ton of work outside and integrity is important in all things. Uh, it's strikingly easy to detect AI generated work because often the vocabulary is stiff and antiquated. It doesn't sound like anything that would come out of a young person's mouth. Why are there 14 SAT words in one sentence? That's not impressing anybody. It's making it look like you got it from somewhere. And if I asked you, gave you your paper back and asked you to read it out loud, you would struggle. So it's insulting. Citation format is almost always wrong. Nobody's used University of Chicago citation format in 25 years, but nobody told people that making these AI-generated things makes you seem like you're very intellectual and scholarly when actually quite the opposite is true. And it never has anything to do with the assignment that I gave you. 
if I give you a blank outline, which I will do for every speech you perform in this class, I'll give you a blank outline and say, here, here's an informative outline. Fill this in. Here, here's a persuasive outline. Fill this in. I'm giving you the actual content that I want filled out. And you turn in a three-page essay that has nothing to do with the outline that I gave you to fill in. And it's pretty obvious that we're using some things that aren't going to help you. It's not hard to tell. I give the people, I get it. People want to use AI. It's faster. College is not about speed and expediency, because if that was the case, why not just go ahead and get a degree in a year? If you're just going to go through it fast and not actually learn anything, what you learn is discipline. What you learn is intellectual growth. What you learn are marketable skills. And that's way more important to me than how fast you got an assignment in by copying some work done by someone else. I cannot and will not reward lazy people. It doesn't work that way in college. It certainly don't work that way in life. Um, I will not insult your hardworking colleagues if they stay up till one o'clock in the morning working on outline. I don't recommend it. It's not necessary. Just sit down and do it. It won't take very long. But people have taken their time and managed their lives to get work out. And you sat down and on the commercial break of a TV show, press a button, create a whole essay, turn it in. It's not fair to people that work hard. It, I'm not going to insult your classmates by accepting something written by a student um, who put their name on a paper that they didn't write. Ultimately, academic and per personal success are accomplished through risk and effort. Going to college is risky. 84% of the people in the United States do not have a college degree. It's not for everybody. But the people that do have one, it's because they, they've taken some risks and made some effort. If you're not willing to take the risk and make the effort, I hate to tell you this, life's going to be very, very complicated. There is no shortcuts in anywhere worth going. you got to take the steps. And in this class, in the summer, what you signed up for, intentionally and on purpose, where you have to do a lot of assignments in a tight time frame. I teach the same class in the fall, and those students in the fall will have 16 weeks to complete the exact same assignments. You got five weeks, but thought that you knew that when you signed up for the class. I'm not in any hurry to make sure that anybody gets work done fast. My pressure is on you to make sure that at the end of the class, you are smarter and stronger than you were on the 3rd of June. Again, any submission of AI-generated work will have the outcome of a zero. That's non-negotiable. I don't dictate what other teachers and what other professors and instructors are willing to accept from you. But as for me, it will be interpreted as unnecessarily disrespectful. If you decide, after watching this video, that you're going to turn in an AI-generated assignment anyway. Wow, that's just insubordination. That's He told me not to do it. I'm going to do it anyway. To me, that's personal. That's, okay, yeah, he's, he's a bit slow. He'll never figure out because the program's smarter than he is. Well, let's think about that. To hand in something that you didn't write and create yourself is, from my perspective, wrong. Do the work. Trust the process. You signed up to learn the stuff. I signed up to teach it. You committed when you enrolled in this class to making this work. And I am here to make it work for you and with you. If there are specific questions, um, I'll hear them out, but the decision is the decision. We're not doing AI work this summer. Thank you.